Hello there, boys and girls. Happy Monday. The sun is shining today. It's a good day to be drawing, and it's a good day to be happy and count our blessings. So here we are. This is where we left off last week. Many of you submitted your drawings to me. Remember, they are not anything that needs to be completed. We have been referring to them as a blueprint up and to this point, which is fine because uh, it's a work in progress. So my hope is that we will continue to add artistic and architectural details to this two-point perspective piece as we move forward towards the end of this week. So let's get started. Uh, if you noticed the uh, post I made this morning, I wanted you guys to just kind of do a little general internet search regarding some siding for houses, logs, brick and mortar types of arrangements, aluminum, vinyl siding, planks, etc. You can put together your siding however you see fit. This is where we left off last week. We put some slats on this side of the house, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to match them up on the front of the house. Um, one more thing before I do that, here's a little diagram about um, some design options moving forward. And it looks kind of strange because I've got logs mixed in with bricks, mixed in with stone, and there's some smoke coming out of the chimney. and Whatnot. So we'll talk about all these details moving forward. There's a little peek into the interior interior of the home. Shows a lamp on a table in front of a picture or a flat screen, whatever that is. Okay, so a lot of fun things coming our way. Let's get back to the task at hand. Let's match up the front to the side. So as you can see. I'm putting a little point, teeny tiny, where each of the lines met with the corner from last week. And I'm using my right hand vanishing point, no measurement needed at this point, moving it up and down like a lever. Little pressure here, it's connected to where we left off last week. And what I'm going to do here is I am going to use my ruler to draw all of these front siding lines fading away to the vanishing point. All the while I'm being careful around the windows and the door frame. I'm about halfway there at this point. Let me move my ruler away to see, to let you see how I'm progressing up the front of the building. Let's keep going here. Hope you all had a nice weekend. Staying safe. I can't see where the top of that door frame is. I hope I'm going over top of it. Yes, I was. Excellent. Straight across. And one more. Very good. Now, Probably what I'll do is I'll give you a little smorgasbord here, a little bit of everything moving forward, and you can decide what's best for you. Okay, so some of you should like to turn these planks into logs. There's a cool way to do that, cool and simple. Coming down this corner, what I do is I turn that corner into kind of like an oval shape. 
and I do it every other slot to show that there is an interlocking pattern of the logs. Let me replace that oval. Okay, now the log coming this way would connect with half of an oval. So basically what you're seeing here is a pattern of full ovals and half ovals up and down the corner of the house. Okay, so I'll go back and clean that up before our next video because I don't want to waste all your viewing time with you just watching me erase and put together these final details. But um, I'll have that cleaned up for you next time. Now here's what I'm doing on the far end, the side closest to the right hand vanishing point. I'm rounding off the edge of that building to give the impression of logs being stacked one on top of the other. Okay, which is kind of cool. Okay, you can do that same thing over here towards the right hand vanishing point as well. Okay. Now many of you will want to leave the um, pieces of siding just as regular old planks, wood planks. That's fine. But some of you will like to create a bit of a brick pattern. So I know this looks weird because I'm putting bricks where logs are, but I'm just doing that to show you the pattern here. So the point I'm trying to make is you're going to decide what kind of siding you want to put onto this house. I'm just hopping around here and giving you, like I said, a little bit of a smorgasbord. Some of you may take the time, I'm doing this randomly, some of you may take the time to give the impression as though there are stones interlocking to create the siding for this structure. That's kind of a fun and easy way to do it. Okay? So, what I want you kiddos to do today is I want you to work on the siding of your home. Make sure your windows and door are where you want them to be first before you dive into the siding full boat. Again, just different ideas for some siding. There's even some slate on the roof there. Tomorrow we'll talk about the chimney. We'll talk about the inside and some other associated details as we move forward towards Friday. So today work on your siding happy drawing, and uh, I look forward to talking to you all very, very soon. Thank you.